Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be making a top-down camera that looks like um, this. It looks like this in your game. You can use it as a top-down shooter or to look down people's t-shirts. I don't care. That's your business. You do whatever you want with it. Here's the code. Uh, I'm going to post it down in the description so that way you can just copy it and paste it into your game because I know you guys are goblins and that's all you want to do anyway. Uh, but there's two things that you need to know before you copy and paste this in order to make it work. First, you got to come over to here to the Explorer and you want to go to Starter Players, uh, Starter Character Scripts, create a local script called Camera with a capital C, and then you can paste it into there. How it'll work. Um, once you complete the second step, which is you need to subscribe and like to this video. That way I can accomplish my dream of becoming a professional baseball stand hot dog boy. Now, for anybody that wants to know what this stuff actually does and how it works, go ahead and stick around because here we go. Uh, first up, we have our variables, which are on top, and then we have the actual process code that happens below. First variable, root. Uh, root equals script dot parent wait for child humanoid root part what does this mean it means we are going to take the actual player their 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 character rig and uh take the root part of it and put it into this variable right here which is like the hips or something like that the player's hips camera equals workspace dot current camera this is the same uh as saying hey i want this variable right here to equal uh pulling this down and grabbing this camera right over here in the Explorer, right? So uh, workspace, here we go, workspace dot camera down to the camera uh, now equals the variable camera, right? Run service equals game get service run service. Uh, so run service is a little bit um, complicated, but basically what it's saying is I want the local variable run service to equal a, another huge chunk of code that the Roblox devs have already uh, 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 said is in existence. I want all of that to equal this local variable, right? And we get it by saying run service equals the entire games get this service and this is the service called run service it runs every single frame more on that here in a second mouse equals game dot players local player get mouse what this means is the mouse now equals mouse variable equals the whole game all the players a local player and his mouse see how it goes down the tree here right so game the players the player that is playing the game and i want his mouse get me his mouse and all of his inputs because we want to know what he's clicking on and what he's doing Okay, uh, this is the camera distance variable. It just equals 10. So now distance, the word distance now equals 10. Uh, minimum and maximum zoom distances. This is if, if you want to be able to scroll in and out and uh, you know, be able to zoom in and out with whatever. This is their, 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 shoot, what did I just do, stupid. Okay, there we go, we're back. Um, excuse me. Minimum distance in my case is going to be uh, negative five. Maximum distance is going to be 21 studs. Okay. Local function. Here we go. This is the stuff that we're going to name a function. We're going to name it on frame. Okay. Because it's going to run every single frame. So that's just what I named it. Um, camera dot C frame. Okay. This is the same as saying, hey, this camera over here in the workspace, I want to know what its current frame is. And I want its current frame to equal. Okay a new frame and that new frame is going to be based off of the root position the root part of the player plus the root player's position c frame up vector multiplied by the distance which is 10 because we set it to 10 so distance actually equals 10 so in this case it's going to be up vector multiplied by 10 currently plus vector 3 which is the angle okay this is the angle of the camera you can play with these if you want a different if you want a different angle uh you can change those settings right and it's x y z um and then root position of the so it's just a big a big mathematical equation right um and it's telling me where what the camera angle is actually going to be uh camera dot camera type okay so that's the same as saying hey game camera all right, we're at the camera in the Explorer. I want the camera type. Oh, the camera, what type of camera is it? Well, it equals enum, 
dot camera type scriptable. And all this little portion right here means is that I wanna have full access, full control over the camera, and I don't want the previous camera, the original camera that comes with the engine, with the, the development, right? We're, we're redoing it. And what that redo is, is this line right here, uh, line tw uh, 19 is the new camera and scriptable. So like, check this out, right? If I get rid of scriptable, okay? And I wanted to do something else like, oh, uh, well, let's, yeah, orbital, right? It says right here, uh, camera type is going to be orbital. The camera has a fixed Y position, but can be rotated around the player. And it's actually rotated when you hold down the right mouse button, okay? Um, but we want it to go to scriptable, which means no default behavior used when developers need to script a custom behavior. So. Yeah, it's just saying, hey, screw that. We don't want that. Uh, we want to do our own camera stuff. Okay, and that's this whole function. Um, all right, so now run service. So this variable is now being called, okay? And we defined it up here at the top. It equals run service, which is that big chunk of code that I don't know what it actually says, but I know what it does. We want this run service to bind to render step to the camera priority 100 on frame okay what does this mean this right here all this is saying bind to render step i want you to run this block of code every single frame so if your monitor runs at 60 frames per second it's going to run 60 frames per second what is it affecting what is running every 60 seconds okay the camera is uh what is the code is it's on frame up here we already defined that the function is called on frame so this is going to say every single uh, 60 times a second i want you to run on frame which is all of this stuff right here okay um the priority level just means that if i have more than one of these uh bind to render steps so like if i did this right if i had more than one of them uh the priority level let's say 99 and then uh, now, numero uno, okay? So this one's gonna run first because it has the priority level that's closest to zero. Then this one's gonna run because it's 99, and then this one's gonna run because it's 100. That's all the priority level is in case you have multiple bind to render steps. It's going, that just lets it know which ones to run first. Uh, the closer you are to zero, those are the ones that's gonna run first. The further away you are from the origin, the crazier it gets. All right, uh, now this is going to be the zoom in and out code. If you don't wanna be able to zoom in and out in your game, just delete this portion. Uh, what is it saying? Mouse, okay? What is the mouse? We already defined it up here. Game.players, local player, get the mouse. It's the player, it's the local player's mouse input, okay? So we're looking at the mouse input and we wanna know, oops, I want this one. Uh, mouse, wheel forward, connect, function. Okay, so when the player, hey game, when the player wheels forward, I want you to connect this function, which is this portion down here, down below. When you wheel forward, if the distance, which is currently 10 when we log into the game, it's gonna be start off at 10. So if the distance is greater than minimum distance, which is in my case, negative five, then the distance, I want you to subtract one whenever they wheel forward, which allows you to zoom in and out. Okay, so distance, if I did one zoom in, like one little click, it's this is now going to be nine, right? If I do two, it's going to be 10. If I scroll in twice, or I'm sorry, it's gonna be eight, right? Now, uh, the opposite goes for the next portion of text. So, hey, game, get me the mouse. If they wheel backwards, I want you to connect this block of text to wheeling backwards. Once they wheel backwards, I want you to see What's the distance? The distance is 10 when I log in. The distance is less than the max distance right now, right? Yeah, because max distance is 21. When I log in, it's 10, okay? So if it's lower than the max distance, whenever they wheel backward, I want you to add one to the total. So if I do one click backwards, this is now going to be 11. If I go do two, it's 12. Three, it's gonna end up 20. Not really, but you get what I'm saying. All the way up until it hits 21. Once it hits 21, distance is no longer going to be less than max distance, which is right here, right? So therefore, you're not gonna be able to scroll backwards anymore and you won't be able to zoom out. You'll only be able to zoom back in because our minimum distance is five. 
and we can wheel forward. So that's how that whole thing works, right? And then, you know, the, we just do a little bit of, little, do a little bit of game testing here, make sure everything works. All right, we're top down, we can scroll in, we can scroll out. If I go all the way back out, all right, it stops. Okay, so there you go. That's how you have it. Make sure you subscribe if you like the video. Please do that anyway, so that I can uh, become a professional hot dog boy in a baseball stand. Thank you, goodbye.